Good morning, and welcome to Post Walk Weekly, late edition. I apologize. I'm not sure what happened to me on Sunday. Uh, it is now Tuesday, day t uh, 328 of Putin's war against Ukraine. And I thought on yesterday, perhaps just forget it. What is the point of this anyway? Then last night, a, a wind came up and my shutters were banging and I had to come outside, put some stones against some of them. And it made me it feel this slight connection to windows rattling um, in Ukraine. And I thought the least I can do is honor my commitment and bear some kind of witness to um, this terrorist war that is happening in a European country um, in the year 2023. Um, I I look forward to this war ending so that I can focus energies. Uh, I may not do videos, but on other wars, uh, this one has to end. There's uh, no way the Ukrainians are going to quit. And there's every reason in the world uh, that Russia must be held accountable for terrorist acts. Um, the one reason I didn't want to do this yesterday is my feeling of uh, kind of depression and deja vu because the war has been at something of a stalemate uh, in a way for um, a, a few months now. And it just uh, rings bells of wars that go on and on and on. But I don't think this one can. Um, yesterday, the Russians lost uh, 790 men. Um, yesterday or Sunday, uh, I watch one video where he every day he updates the number. The Russians have now lost over 116,000 men, and the injuries are usually double the casualties, and um, it's just un, uh, untenable. I, that just can't go on endlessly. Uh, as much as um, the generals and Putin seem willing to sacrifice these humans, um, at some point there just won't be any. Uh, I It's inexplicable, inexplicable to me and was very depressing on uh, on Monday, but I figured at least I should uh, speak out and recognize this. And I watched uh, President Zelensky's speech from last night, I think from Monday night this morning, and um, it breaks my heart that I see him getting harder again. Uh, you have to become a little more calloused because, of course, the Ukrainians are losing lives as well, and civilian lives. Um, the, the bomb that fell on this huge nine-story apartment building in Dnipro um, and has killed somewhere upwards of 40 people, and, and you can hear him choke when he says the number of children. Um, and... Uh, just any energy that can be spent. There is United Ukraine, a place you can send money that is definitely uh, uh, not a scam. It goes right to, uh, into, uh, it's very um, um, obvious how the monies are used and where they go and what they do. Um, when my book is done, and I am now on to the last three weeks of giving the details of the walk, uh, when it's published, I will be giving 50% of the proceeds um, to initially to United 24 um, for Ukraine aid and re rebuilding. And I want to find out, 
I'm hoping people will write to me. Uh, I would like to start supporting organizations that are working at ending war, at uh, uh, changing um, our production of weaponry into our um, ending climate change. All those facilities that build weapons could be converted and be making um, solutions to our needs where we don't destroy the environment. So I'm sure that's long enough for today. Be well. Thank you.